Now to tonight's Stronger Houston series, and whether you're a teacher, a parent, or a student, most would agree that education is not a one-size-fits-all. Mm -hmm. Some students learn differently than others. Others are trying to balance school with work and provide for their families. Tonight we have a look at a program that is tailor-made for those students. It's happening at Lone Star College, and as our Brandon Walker reports tonight, this program is proving to be a success. I can get a lot of experience with the cameras, editing. Milton Moody might make movies someday. Adding some background music and then maybe doing some animated. Might go into graphic design, might edit. He gets to try his hand at each, having found home amidst the big lights, big magic that is production at Lone Star College's North Harris campus's multimedia studio. I'm happy here um, and I, 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 I kind of sort of want to do this in the future, but like more, you know, more advanced, of, of course. Moody is a student intern who gets paid to work on campus productions, busy with the working calendar. One Lone Star administrator say has led to a winning plan. So it's called the Mikasa is Sukasa program. Home at school, the goal, says Dr. Laura Yonasi, Lone Star College North Harris's vice president of instruction. Mikasa is Sukasa began in 2017. It's birthed the conversation of ideas on how to fix a problem. And one of the things that became evident was that our Hispanic students weren't having the success we wanted them to have. Dr. Yonasi says the college recognized Hispanic students weren't doing as well as white students in core courses, and that bled over into graduation rates, transfer rates even, getting students from community college to a four-year school. So they had to start a conversation on solving that problem or problems. The folks here at Lone Star did so by lending an ear. We know the majority of our students are Hispanic. The majority of our students go part-time. They go part-time because most of them also have jobs and family responsibilities. So we knew all those things. But until I really know you, how can I really support you on your journey? Honestly, it just got me out of my bubble because I've always been that quiet person. Daniela Tapia majors in biomedical science, plans to be a doctor, is a member of student government, and says Mikasa es su casa helps to better connect students from the Hispanic community to college and keeps them there. I feel like there's a lot of students like me who are very, not scared of the world, but just need that extra push to get out there, and that's what I needed. So the individual course success rates have gone up, the retention rates semester to semester have gone up, graduation rates have gone up, everything's improved. By engaging Hispanic students, Lone Star North Harris says data from last fall showed 68% of students in the program returned for a second year. The overall school average, 50%. And since the program began, the school reports an increase of nearly 10 percentage points in the transfer rate of Hispanic students to a four-year school. A $2.5 million Title V education grant has funded the program, including a Center for Academic Success and Transition kind of like a career center with counselors on staff to help students transfer to a four-year school. And of course, there's the multimedia studio giving students a leg up by getting hands-on. The faculty here and staff really do care about their education want, and want to help them grow. And that relationship between faculty and staff, I'm told, is key. It's a key part to this program, and they're getting national recognition for the work that they're doing this month, given the 2020 example of Excellencia Award by Excellencia in Education. That's a national organization that works toward increasing access to education for the Latino community. So some big recognition for this program here at uh, Lone Star North Harris as they work to make a stronger Houston. We're live in North Harris County. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Great story. Thank you, Brandon.